In this video, we are looking at some fantastic open source applications starting with this one called Text Tools. So with this app, you get lots of useful features you could use around texts. You know, highlighting text on Android usually gives you the same old options, copy, paste, and maybe share. Here, you paste text and get features like text evaluation, which does an incredible job of calculating mathematical expressions and automatically copying the answer to clipboard. All you have to do is paste. And then you get text transformation, which has several tools like text decoration, removal, reversing, repeating, and more. My favorite being number lines, which adds numbers to each line. You also get text count, saving what you've copied as a text file. And if you are working with larger pieces of text, there is a built-in find and replace, so you can fix names, correct words, or clean up formatting without leaving what you are doing. It is a pretty simple application which can come in handy at some point. So you just hit simulate and you can go ahead and do whatever you want. Plus, you can edit out some of the features if you don't want. The next app is called EndNotes. And if you love the Nothing OS aesthetic, this app is built to look like that. The whole interface feels flat, sharp, minimal, and it's actually the best out of the many note-taking applications with the Nothing design style. It's got that signature bottom navigation bar, making everything smooth to navigate, creating, editing or deleting notes is quick and simple. And if you've got a long list of notes piling up, you can search through them easily or sort them in reverse order to keep the newest stuff right at the top with this dedicated icon. You can add images to notes, which makes the preview page look good instead of just text. You can create categories, color code notes and more. It is actually the small details that round out the whole experience. You can switch between dark and light modes. And there's even an N-Dot font toggle for that full Nothing OS vibe. It is lightweight, plus it allows importing and exporting of data. Pretty cool note-taking application. This clean but fancy looking application is called Minimo. It's a link keeping application with its own uniqueness to it. First off is the design. It is easy to navigate, you feel snappy and smooth. The rounded corner tiles create a clean space. You can tap the plus button to create a group or category. Within it, you can add as many links as you want. And each link comes with rich metadata like titles, descriptions and image previews all pulled in instantly. Plus, you can add your own notes to every saved item. On the home page, you can switch between all, liked or empty. That said, you can add categories to favorites. It's got unique labels like codes and entries, so the groups come with a unique code, which will come in handy when you have multiple groups created. So instead of swiping, you just search for the code. The links saved are called entries. The app comes in both light and dark modes. And that's basically it, a super simple and modern link keeping application. If you're the kind of person who actually wants to know what is going on with your phone's battery, Plus Plus battery is built exactly for you. Usually, battery stats on Android are pretty surface level. You get the percentage, maybe the estimated time left, and that's about it. With this application, you get real-time readings like voltage, charging current, and actual power flow whether you are plugged in or draining. And the best part, it works without root. But if you do have root access, it unlocks a whole new level of detail that most applications won't even go near. It can calculate your battery's full charge capacity without root, but that is only when your battery is at 100% and drawing 0 mA, meaning the data you get actually reflects reality, so there is no guesswork going on. Plus, if you want live data on your battery on the status bar, you can allow that, fully customizable to show exactly what you want. And then we have Short Studio. And this application manages your screenshots perfectly. I'm sure we all agree screenshots do turn our gallery into a chaotic mess, especially if we have tons of them. We're talking random memes, receipts, important information, and there might even be some you don't even remember you had. This app automatically gathers all the screenshots on your phone here. You can go ahead and categorize them with descriptions and also allow smart categorization. So the AI built into this application will automatically add a screenshot to the right category. Again, thanks to the built-in AI, you can search for screenshots by text, objects, or even topics inside the image, even if you never labeled them. And while other applications might get sketchy with your privacy, everything here runs securely through Google's Gemini API with none of your data stored by the application. It is fully open source too, so if you are curious or want to tweak things, you can check it out yourself. Alright, so check out this app called Focus, a completely offline open source task manager that is built around the async hour matrix. And right off the bat, it isn't your typical productivity application. There are no paywalls, no accounts, no tracking, and definitely no push notifications trying to motivate you with streaks or stats. The app was created by someone who clearly got tired of the usual suspects in the task management space, the kind of applications that start out simple but quickly turn into ad-filled, cloud sync distractions. So instead of that, Focus gives you exactly what the name promises, clarity. 
And let's talk about how it works. The app uses the Eisenhower matrix, which if you're not familiar with, is a four quadrant system to help you organize your tasks by urgency and importance. A method that has been around for decades because it just works. So the top left is urgent and important. That's your do now stuff. Top right, important but not urgent. Those are things you should plan. And the bottom left is urgent but not important, you know, task you can delegate. And the bottom right is neither, you just eliminate it. The app brings this to life in a really clean visual layout. You can add tasks, edit them, drag and drop them between quadrants and mark them as complete. There is even a toggle to hide completed tasks so you are not distracted by what's already done. And if you prefer a more traditional list view, you have it here too. And from a design perspective, it is built with Flutter and uses Hive for local storage, which means everything stays on your device, no data ever leaves your phone. There is full support for dark and light mode, with material use styling, and honestly, it just feels nice to use, snappy, minimal and responsive. There is also zero setup, you install it and you are in, no logins, no email prompts, no syncing to the cloud. And because it is entirely offline, it works anywhere, anytime, you could literally go into airplane mode and still organize your week. The app is especially great if you are someone who wants to manage tasks without dealing with the friction most applications throw at you. Bottom line, Focus strips tax management down to what really matters. It is free, open source and kind of exactly what the name says, it helps you focus. Next on the list is for lovers of podcasts, it is called TSACDOP or however it is pronounced. There's also an open source podcast player that keeps things refreshingly simple, no ads, no clutter, just a solid listening experience that gets out of the way and lets you focus well on podcasts. Now the app is built with Flutter and right away you will notice how clean and thoughtful the UI is. It is lightweight, it loads fast and the whole application feels like it was designed to help you listen, not overwhelm you with menus or unnecessary animations. And the search engine is built on pools from both listen notes and podcast index which means you get great coverage, basically any podcast you're looking for, it is going to show up here. From a feature standpoint, it is surprisingly fully featured for something that looks this simple. You've got playlist support, podcast group management, all offline playback, the ability to download new playlists automatically, and when episodes get outdated, it can also delete them too. So you're not constantly micromanaging storage. And playback tools are here as well. You can set up a sleep timer, adjust the playback speed, skip silences, and even boost volume when you need that extra punch. These are all things you typically expect from premium podcast applications, and here they are included right out of the gate for free. And for those of you who really care about portability and backups, the app also supports OPML import and export, so you can bring your subscriptions over and take them with you elsewhere. Your settings can be backed up, and even tracks your listening and subscription history so it's easy to jump back into what you were last playing. There is background syncing so everything stays up to date even when the app is not open. And on the visual side, you get dark mode, customizable accent colors and a design that just feels calm and focused. So yeah, the app might not be the flashiest podcast out there but it does everything you'd expect. Playlist support, silence skipping, volume boosting, full offline support and that's all that without tracking you, showing ads or getting in your way. So if you want a podcast application that just works and respects your time and privacy, this one is seriously worth a look. Alright, for music lovers, let's talk about Orbit, an open source music player that's not just trying to check boxes but actually change how you experience your music. And in a world where most music applications are chasing subscriptions, ad revenue or analytics, this one is doing something different. It is putting your music front and center with no distractions. First thing you'll notice is the UI. It is super clean and built around gestures, which makes navigating feel a lot more natural. You know, swiping, pinching and gliding through albums and playlists with animations that are smooth and not overdone. There is support for both light and dark modes. And if you want to go further, you can actually customize the player's look to match your style. Now let's get into how it works under the hood. The app supports playback from two sources, your local music library and streaming via the GeoSavan API. So whether you've got files stored on your phone or you want to pull from an online catalog, you've got options. Playback is seamless, transitions between tracks are clean and there is dynamic queue management and background playback is rock solid. It also nails the offline experience, you can download tracks, manage your cache and play everything without a connection. There's a sleep timer, so if you like falling asleep to music, that is built into. 
search is also smart. You can quickly find songs, artists, or albums, but it doesn't stop there. The app adds in discovery tools that let you browse by genre, mood, and what's trending. So that's a little bit of Spotify-like intelligence, but still without the tracking or noise. And speaking of privacy, the app doesn't mess with that. It requests no unnecessary permissions, collects zero data, and still somehow manages to adapt your audio quality based on your network strength with built-in network monitoring. That means smoother streaming without scaling your data plan. And the customization goes deep too. You can tweak audio quality, adjust gesture controls, and even fine-tune how themes behave. It gives you actual control over how the application feels and sounds, which isn't something you get from a lot of stock music player applications. One that respects your privacy, works offline, and gives you full control over your playback. So if you're looking for a lightweight, feature-rich, and genuinely respectful music player, Orbit delivers. Now let's take a look at this one called One URL. And this one's for anyone who has ever copied the link and thought, yeah, no one is going to click that, whether it's a Google Doc, a product page, or just some long, ugly string of characters, one URL helps you clean that up fast and add some surprisingly useful tools on top. At its core, it's a URL shortener and a really good one. You just paste in any long URL and it spits out a neat, user-friendly version. But what makes one URL stand out from most link shorteners is that it supports multiple shortened services, so you're not stuck with just one platform behind the scenes. You get flexibility without even thinking about it. And once you've got your short link, it doesn't stop there. You can actually customize the aliases, so instead of a random string of letters and numbers, your link can say exactly what you want. It is super handy if you're posting something publicly or sharing it in a presentation. You can also add descriptions to your links, which sounds small but makes a big difference when you've got a lot of links saved and can't remember what each one is for. It becomes a kind of lightweight link manager, organized, easy to reference, and actually helpful. But maybe the most underrated part, QR codes. Every shortened link comes with one, generated automatically. That means if you are sharing stuff offline, like on a flyer, poster, business card, you are covered. And if you don't even need a short link, one URL also works as a full QR code generator. So you can just punch in any link and get a code to share instantly. From there, it's all about easy access. You can copy or share the link or QR code with just one tap via social, messaging applications, email, wherever you need it. Everything is designed to be quick, clean, and friction-free. So whether you are a content creator, someone managing a bunch of URLs, or someone who wants to clean up the links they send around, one URL is a solid tool to have. It is fast, flexible, and has just the right features without overcomplicating anything. Clean links, instant QR codes, and full control over how you share. It just gets the job done. I believe these are open source applications you will love using for a long period, given the fact that they really deliver and are super easy to use. If you think so too, then consider subscribing to the channel, make sure you drop a like on the video, and as always, thank you for watching.